up, guys? It's me, Clean, bringing you the video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be uh, going ahead and telling you guys about the beginner, intermediate, and expert tips about Red Dead Online. It's gonna be another short video, just like the bounty hunting one, and the um, the bounty hunting one, and the moonshiner one. But this one's gonna be about the collector instead. Um, I'm also gonna be doing a video tomorrow about the uh, update and uh, everything that's going on with that. But for now, I'm just going to be talking about the uh, all the, um, I guess, aspects of the collector guide. So first things first, uh, we're going to start with the basics, just like we did with the uh, moonshine. Or not with the moonshine. Uh, I actually didn't say that about the moonshine, but with the bounty hunter. Um, by the way, the moonshine's 25 gold for any of you guys who are wondering. And watch that video whenever I didn't even... I don't even think I mentioned it. But, um... The collector is 15 gold. Um, you have to go up to Madame Nazar. She she uh, moves into different spots randomly around the world, or not randomly. She moves into different spots around the world every day. Change the location, um, and you have to find her or use a map, uh, which I'll leave in the description, to get to her. And then what you have to do is you have to um, buy the gold for 15, or buy the roll for 15 gold after you see the cutscene, and then you have the collector roll. Um, at the beginning of the collector roll, all you can collect is uh, things that are not underground, so certain jewelry, um, certain hair combs, uh, cards, wildflowers, and other, um, I think that's really it, but there might be other objects I haven't collected in a little bit. Um, and these also spawn on a daily cycle around the world um, in different places, which you can also find those using the map that I'll leave in the description below. Um, in order to level up the collector the fastest, um, what you want to do is actually collect the collectible flowers. Um, the reason that you want to collect these flowers is because they spawn more, or they spawn in larger bunches. You can find collectible flowers from one at a time to I found up to three collectible flowers within just a couple steps from each other. And each of these, uh, you get a little bit of XP. Um, and you can sell once you get the full set, but these are the fastest to get in order to level up, even though they are uh, worth the least, they're only worth 155, uh, but if you want to make a profit while, uh, while you're doing that, you can go after uh, alcohol battle bottles, which you also don't need a metal detector for, I didn't mention that one, uh, certain family heirlooms, and uh, tarot cards. Um, hey, we forbid masks in our establishment. Oh, I can't wear a mask. Um, Thank you for your compliance. another thing about the collector is that, um, you're going to need to buy, uh, two things, uh, if you want to maximize it. One of the things that you're going to need to buy in order to maximize it is the, uh, the shovel, um, and another thing is the Taylor. metal detector, which I'll show you here, uh, while we go through a couple more things from the rolls. That's benefits. Um, the collector is a pretty simple roll. Uh, it's more of an adventuring rule, so if you like going around the map, if you like exploring it a little bit, uh, collector will be the rule for you. And I'm just going to go through the stuff that you should buy from the collector role while we're here. So first thing that you want to buy is the sh is a shovel, the Pennington's Field Shovel, $350. This will let you dig um, stuff underground, it will let you um, get stuff from piles, and it'll let you get stuff from different areas around the map. Um, that as long as they're buried underground, you can get them using this. Um, I think that there are or there are certain ones that if you don't have um, the metal detector, you can't get. But if you have a friend with the metal detector, you should be able to get them uh, pretty simply. Uh, collector's events are free roam events for the collector. Um, provision sat satchel upgrade. You can get a satchel upgrade for your provisions. Um, learn to detect. Uh, learn to detect detect disturbed earth so the mounds of dirt that you will find around the ma uh, map sorry I hit my mic but the mounds of dirt that you find around the mic or the map that have um, collectibles under them you can use this in order to see them you just have to use your eagle eye clicking the left stick and the right stick or whatever it is on PC um, in order to find them metal detector is also something that you're really gonna need um, in order to find uh, things that aren't in heaps um, of dirt on the ground, if they're buried underneath there and there aren't heaps of dirt, you're going to need this in order to get them. Um, intuition, learn 
to narrow your search area. I believe this is just for one of the uh, events. I haven't uh, really noticed anything uh, about this. Um, shoot. Uh, equine assistance. Um, learn to collect items from horseback. I haven't really used this much at all. Uh, you're rarely going to need to get items, or you're really going to really get items from horseback. I don't, I don't think I've ever collected from horseback. Um, but if you, you you get that, I'm pretty sure just by leveling up. Yeah, you do. Um, so if you want it, you can use it, I guess. A lantern, $350 lantern, it goes on your horse. It's really just the same as the lantern that you have, but you don't have to hold it in your hand. Uh, there are also these uh, different horses, which I didn't show. But these are the um, roll horses, just like every other roll has a horse. Valuable satchel upgrade. Uh, you can upgrade the valuable section of your satchel. And then the max your horse, as well as all the cosmetics that you get. Um, well, hello again. So... The best thing that you can do for the collector, um, we already talked about the best way to get XP, which is to, uh, which is to collect as many flowers as possible and, uh, level up during that, because every time you collect, you get the same amount of XP for everything that you do collect, um, which means collecting flowers is the best way to level up, um, and then selling also gets you XP, I believe, um, but the best way to make money is there are two methods. You can either, as you're going around the map, you can make a um, effort to get everything that you're gonna want. So, for example, if let me just zoom out really far. So, if, for example, if I'm over here and there's a bunch of collectibles, let's say there's like three in tumbleweed, there's a couple up here, some up here, some down here. You can either go and get everything here, and you can you can take any loop. So, for example, you could just go along the top and come back down, get anything in the middle, and then go around the uh, go around the bottom, or you can just go to every single one, or you can do the method, um, which if you don't have as much time to play, is actually the best method. Um, if, you, if you're going to play a lot of the day, and say you have Moonshiner, which is going in the background, um, or you have Trader for some reason, um, you can also uh, go ahead and get everything. But the way that I like it, so that I'm not constantly collecting for hours and hours and hours on end uh it, it usually only takes me like two hours one or two hours is you can collect coins one or two things of jewelry i recommend the i think it's 384 dollar jewelry that you can get and alcohol bottles um i recommend alcohol bottles because there's nine alcohol bottles for 210 dollars uh coins i believe there are 12 i think don't quote me on that for 650 and for jewelry um, there's one for like I think 10 for 384 um, so those are the three that I would really go out after um, if you want to get a lot of profit but if you want to maximize it I guess you can get uh, everything you can also do uh, something that I like to do that way it's not too incredibly boring to uh, just go around the map you can do bounties at every city you get to so for example you could go to one city do um, a bounty you could explore that area get all the collectibles that you want turn it into that city go to the or turn it into the next one if you're closer to that one uh, because it doesn't matter what city you are you just have to go to the nearest jail um, and then you can do the same thing you can turn them in there you can start another one you can collect everything there go to the next one and so on and so forth all the way to the other end of the map where you have everything that's really it for the video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do hit the like button. And if you really liked it, please do consider subscribing. I post Red Dead, Modern Warfare, and GTA videos every day. Um, so if you want to see any of those, uh, maybe consider subscribing as well. Uh, if you didn't like it, please do tell me right down in the description below. If I missed anything, also tell me down in the description below. And I uh, will try and make an update video for anything that I missed. Uh, I think I'm going to continue this as a series that expands a little further than the roles. I might do some horse tips. I might do some fighting tips. I might do some other things like that. And it's probably just going to be like a kind of how-to or uh, just tip series. But anyway, guys, um, I'll see you in the next video. I'm not going to ramble on for too much longer, and goodbye.
Good morning, mister. Hey, look out. Something's really wrong with him. Oh, no. You're telling me, sir. Hey, just relax now, will ya? No need for this. Be careful. The hell's the matter with you? Leave me be, damn it! Just get low! Save me! Help me out! 